Welcome back to Athletic Every Day, day number 213. I finally found it, guys. I found the perfect facility for me to train myself to master and improve my athleticism uh, over the course of an extended period of time. So this right here is a sports village facility at Aberdeen University. It's called Aberdeen Sports Village, and it's like this multi-million dollar complex where um, there's like a 50 meter swimming pool, there's diving boards, um, you can train pretty much any sport, and there's also, most importantly, an indoor athletics track as well as an outdoor athletics track, combined with an area, like a very extensive facility for training weightlifting. So, kind of lucked out with this, it's about, I don't know, maybe a mile away from where I live, so it's an easy cycle ride to get to where I want to go to. Um, so, I was like, well, as soon as I saw that, I've got to sign up, get a membership here so that I can train here every single day to work on my athleticism. So um, it's really exciting. It's great to have the opportunity to actually train in a place like this, like a proper professional facility. Now, with regards to like competing in any specific sport or like any teams that I can maybe join, I, I don't know about that. But um, I am very fortunate and very lucky to have this place now because, you know, up until now I've been training in my own like garage and out on a field. But uh, now I have the facility, so I literally have no excuse to not work on my athleticism and improve it to its fullest extent. So, um, yeah, it's exciting. I'm really happy about that. And um, hopefully in the future, we'll be able to see some more uh, very, very advanced levels of athleticism coming from me. Uh, m most, most notably in sprinting. Um, you know, I've got all the facilities now to sprint. Maybe I could find a coach, who knows? Um, same thing with the weightlifting. I'm sure there's a weightlifting team and I'm sure there's an athletics team at this university, so there could also be some good coaching here. And there's also potentially an opportunity to be a strength coach here. I'm sure the teams or the, um, you know, some of the athletics teams or maybe the weightlifting or maybe one of the basketball or football, rugby, one of the teams here potentially could also use a strength coach. So there could be an opportunity there for that as well. With regards to today's workout though, I decided that I would do five sets of 20 as a top set on the sprinting. What's also nice about having an indoor athletics track is that you can actually measure out the distance very specifically so that you know it is exactly 20 meters. You don't have to do like I was doing on the field that I was sprinting on before and pace out what, what you'd assume to be 20 meters or 20 yards and sort of hope that that's 20 meters. You know it's exactly 20 meters. So that's another thing I'm excited to do here is be able to actually officially time my times for you know a 40, uh, 40 meter sprint, 60 meter sprint, 100 meter. I have the facilities to do that here now. And um, yeah, who knows, maybe there's also some way for me to do like a, a mock or like a proper weightlifting competition to see if I can get like an official total and natural competition. So that would also be really, really cool. And yeah, just exciting times. So yeah, five sets of 20 on the sprints. And then for the weightlifting, I decided that I was going to do some doubles on the snatch. And then for clean, I did I, for, for the clean variant, I did power clean and jerk. So one plus two. So one power clean and then two jerks. Snatches today were feeling pretty good. Technique was feeling nice. Um, getting used to having an actual proper weightlifting platform to weightlift on. I mean, I don't actually have that much experience training in an official weightlifting platform. Um, I think. Before I started at Athletic Every Day, I did train on a proper Olympic weightlifting platform back in a proper sporting facility and in London. And that felt really, really nice actually. Uh, the bar felt good, the knurling on the bar was really, really nice. Um, obviously using proper bumper plates, being able to just drop the bar on the floor after you finish a set. Um, it's just exciting stuff. And what they also have here, they have blocks. So I can do um, you know, jerks from the rack uh, if I want to. Um, I can do pulls from the blocks. It's just really, really good. Um, all the facilities I've had, never had in the past. Um, as I said before, I literally just have no excuse. So what you're watching here is that 70 kilo double. Moved pretty good, felt really nice. Um, bottom position felt really cool. And I've noticed I'm not jumping backwards as much as I was before, which means that my snatch technique is actually improving now. These are those 80 kilo double attempts the first one, missed that one. Then I did 80 kilo double here, which was pretty good. Rested in between for a few seconds. And then here it is again. Not too bad. Um, I think my best ever number of reps with 80 was three reps in the past, if I'm not mistaken. So 
uh, to be able to go beyond that or to do um, you know 85 for a triple 82 and a half for a triple would be you know, some progress so what you're watching now is power clean and jerk now I haven't done any overhead work with the clean and jerk in a long time so bear with my terrible form so the reason for doing this is because I want to get more into doing like actual weightlifting so the jerk is obviously a big part of that I want to work on my total and uh, yeah, I think getting back into when you alternate doing weightlifting movements, you always do either a full snatch or add a power clean and jerk or a power snatch and then a full clean and jerk. Um, it doesn't really make sense unless you're doing like a max out and, or, or something that's super low volume to do them both on the same day. You never do like a full snatch and a full clean and jerk on the same day because it's going to tie you out the next day to then train them again. Um, at least that's my experience with training weightlifting anyway. So you'll also see me doing a little bit more um, organized programming. I've actually just, I'm actually in the process of writing myself a program now. So it's exciting stuff to be able to work on all the things I have and have the facilities to do that. After this workout though, I was pretty tired, pretty gone, and these muscle-ups were not it. <laughs> I was definitely struggling here. Um, I'm not going to blame the bar, but the bar was a little bit slippery. Um, so I wasn't able to do proper full grip, and I also don't have chalk yet here. Um, but hey, look, you can't have everything. The facility is really good. They've got a slightly slippery pull-up bar. It is, it is, it is what it is. It'll, be, it'll work for weighted pull-ups. So um, I'm not complaining. So with the muscle-ups here, attempt was three sets of three. I uh, did not get three sets of three. Probably one set of two and then two sets of three very, very ugly reps. Not as good as I am used to doing. Um, but hey, it is what it is. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.